Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making Daphne Blake from the Scooby-Doo franchise in The Sims 4. Daphne Blake is one of the core members of Mystery Inc. and Scooby-Doo, often portrayed as the fashion-forward, resourceful character of the group. Known for her stylish outfits and iconic purple dress, she was initially seen as the damsel in distress but evolved into a capable and brave investigator. Daphne is adventurous, quick-witted, and skilled at getting the gang out of tricky situations, often using her charm or creativity. She's a fan favorite for her blend of beauty, brains, and bravery, as well as her character growth throughout the various series and movies. The Create a Sim, or Cast feature in The Sims 4 allows players to design and personalize their sims with an incredible range of customization options. Players can adjust every detail of a sim's appearance, from their body shape and facial features, to skin tone, hairstyles, and clothing. Cass offers intuitive click and drag sliders for precise control, enabling users to fine tune facial features like eyes, nose, mouth, and cheekbones, as well as body parts like arms, legs, and torso. Beyond physical appearance, players can also choose a sim's traits, aspirations, and voice, shaping their personality and behaviors in the game. This flexibility makes The Sims 4's Create a Sim a powerful tool for creating unique and diverse characters, just like Daphne. As I create Daphne Blake in The Sims 4, it's important to capture her personality and interests that fans love from the show. Daphne is known for her keen sense of fashion, which I wanted to reflect in her outfits. Throughout the series, she showcases a stylish blend of hipster, polished, and preppy styles, so I made sure to choose clothing that embodies these vibes. Daphne is also a character with a variety of interests. She's a dancer and enjoys skiing and snowboarding, which reflects her adventurous spirit. I also decided to include photography and acting as part of her character traits, as these hobbies are often featured in her storylines. It's fun to imagine her capturing moments during adventures with the gang. In terms of colors, Daphne is often associated with green, purple, and pink. I'll make sure her outfits prominently feature these colors, as they're a big part of her character design. When it comes to her personality traits in the game, I chose ambitious and creative to represent her drive and artistic flair. Daphne is always aiming for her goals and putting her creativity into action, whether it's through her fashion choices or her interest in photography and acting. I struggled a lot to pick a third trait, but I ultimately settled on self-assured. This reflects her confidence and poise, especially when navigating the challenges she faces alongside the gang. Daphne loves engaging in deep thoughts and discussing her interests and hobbies with others. She's also known for her love of gossip and sharing stories, making her a lively character to have around. Moreover, Daphne tends to gravitate toward hardworking sims and pet enthusiasts. This could reflect her nurturing side, especially when it comes to her beloved pet, Scooby-Doo. Finally, the music Daphne enjoys also reflects her vibrant personality. While I was hoping to find a lot of rock music to represent her connection to the Hex Girls, I also included some alternative and pop tracks to round out her musical interests. With all these aspects in mind, I'm excited to bring Daphne to life in The Sims 4. Daphne Blake from Scooby-Doo franchise is typically portrayed with a fair to light skin tone. Her complexion is smooth and porcelain-like, which complements her vibrant red hair and iconic purple and green outfit. This light skin tone has been a consistent feature across the various adaptations of her character. Daphne Blake is known for her iconic red hair and signature bangs, which are a huge part of her look. In The Sims 4, I struggled a bit to find a hairstyle that really captured her classic style but I eventually landed on one from the Snowy Escape expansion pack that works well enough. Now I switched things up to replicate her wolf cut from 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo. For that, I went with a hairstyle from the Werewolves game pack to achieve that fun, more adventurous look. I also switched up her hair for one of her formal wear outfits as well as for her athletic wear.
Let's start with Daphne's iconic everyday outfits. For her Scooby-Doo Where Are You look, I ran into some challenges. I couldn't find a dress that I thought would work, so I ended up using a purple top with a black tie from the Get Together expansion pack. I paired it with pink tights from the Get To Work expansion pack to match her original look. Finding a good skirt was tricky, and after some trial and error, I settled on one from the Get Together expansion pack. To complete the outfit, I gave her purple lace-up heels from the Cottage Living expansion pack. Now, I really wanted to add her iconic green scarf, but since the game didn't show a green necklace, I went with green dingly earrings from the Dream Home Decorator game pack instead. Next, for her second outfit inspired by the 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo, I used a jumpsuit from the Dream Home Decorator game pack. Unfortunately, it doesn't come in purple like in the show, so I had to settle for a pink version. To give it more of Daphne's original flair, I added a chunky silver bracelet from the Realm of Magic game pack to represent the one she wears. I also gave her purple socks from the base game. Her original jumpsuit is purple, so I thought this was a nice homage. I gave her grey heeled boots from the Seasons Expansion Pack to complete this more modern but still recognizable look. Her third everyday outfit is inspired by her looks in Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island, Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost, and Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase. For this look, I added purple flats from the City Living expansion pack and took off the pink tights. I changed her top to a blazer from the Discover University expansion pack, which has a button detail similar to what she wears in those movies. Lastly, I swapped out her skirt for one from the Realm of Magic game pack. Now moving on to her what's new Scooby-Doo look. I kept the same pink tights from the Get to Work expansion pack, and for her top, I chose a purple one from the Strangerville game pack. This top has a similar neckline to her dress in the show, and even has a pink separator like her dress in what's new Scooby-Doo. For her skirt, I used a purple pleated one from the base game, though I wish there was a better option for accuracy. I kept her purple lace-up heels from the Cottage Living expansion pack for consistency. For her former wear, I pulled together some looks inspired by a few different series. Her first outfit is inspired by Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? I gave her a green silk dress from the Moonlit Sheet Kit, paired with green dangly base game earrings to represent her green headband from the show. At first I added green gloves, but I realized she didn't wear gloves in the original series, so I took them off. To complete the outfit, I gave her green heels from the Vintage Glamour Stuff Pack.
For her second formal outfit, inspired by the new Scooby-Doo movies, I added light purple evening gloves from the base game and purple dangly earrings from the Vintage Glamour Stuff Pack, which represent the purple headband she's wearing in the show. For her dress, I went with a purple one from the Get Famous expansion pack that features a waist separator, just like what she wears in the series. I also gave her purple heels from the Moschino Stuff Pack and a purple jeweled necklace from the base game to complete the look. Her third formal outfit is also inspired by the new Scooby-Doo movies, but this time I changed a few details. I swapped the purple evening gloves for green ones, and I changed her purple earrings to green ones from the Vintage Glamour Stuff Pack. I kept the same Get Famous dress, but I swapped the purple jeweled necklace for one with green gemstones to match her new accessories. I also changed her Moschino heels from purple to green to finish off the look. For her What's New Scooby-Doo formal look, I decided to go with a base game purple wrap dress that looks just like the one she wears in the show. I added simple base game earrings and silver heels from the Get Famous expansion pack. For her hairstyle, I gave her an updo with bangs from the Bowling Stuff pack to match her sleeker look in the series. Her fifth formal wear outfit, inspired by Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated, is one of her more glamorous looks. I used a green pendant necklace from the base game, purple dangly earrings from the Bench and St Glamour Stuff Pack to represent her headband, and a purple prom dress from the High School Years Expansion Pack, which has the same off-the-shoulder look as her show's version. I also added a pink flower corsage for her left wrist from the same pack, and light purple evening gloves from the base game along with purple heels from the Moschino Stuff Pack. For Daphne's athletic wear, I figured she would keep it stylish yet practical. I gave her a matching purple sweatsuit from the base game which feels true to her signature color while still being comfortable for working out. For her hair, I chose a ponytail from the base game to keep it simple and functional. And for her shoes, I gave her green and white sneakers from the Fit Kit since the green adds a fun contrast while still matching her overall style. For her first sleepwear look, inspired by Scooby-Doo Where Are You, I dressed Daphne in a pink nightgown from the Cottage Living expansion pack paired with pink slippers from the base game. This look feels cozy but still in line with her classic color palette. Her second sleepwear outfit is inspired by the new Scooby-Doo movies. For this look, I used a purple nightgown and robe set from the Vintage Glamour Stuff Pack. I kept the same pink slippers from her first sleepwear look to keep the outfit comfortable yet consistent with her color theme. For her third sleepwear look, inspired by Scooby-Doo and Guess Who, I had a bit of trouble finding the perfect green tank top, but I settled on one from the Seasons expansion pack. I paired it with purple comfy shorts from the Dream Home Decorator game pack, and for this look, I took off her slippers to give it a more laid-back vibe. For Daphne's first party outfit, I was inspired by an episode of the Scooby-Doo show, where she goes to a costume party. I dressed her in a pink and purple fairy costume from the Spooky Stuff Pack, and to accessorize, I added purple dangly earrings from the Growing Together expansion pack to represent her purple headband. I also added a purple heart necklace from the High School Years expansion pack and gave her some fun pink and purple eyeshadow from the Carnival Streetwear kit. For her eyeliner, I used a fun purple shade from the High School Years expansion pack. I finished the look with silver heels from the Get Famous expansion pack.
second party look is a more modern take on Daphne's style. I chose a layered purpled outfit from the Dream Home Decorator game pack with a mock neck and a dress layered over it. I paired it with pink thigh high socks from the Spooky Stuff pack as a nod to her classic pink tights and finished it off with purple lace loafers from the High School Years expansion pack. For Daphne's swimwear, I pulled together a few different looks. Her first swimwear outfit is inspired by the Scooby-Doo show. I gave her a red bikini top from the Island Living expansion pack that matches the shape of the one she wears in the show, and I paired it with red bikini bottoms from the base game. Her second swimwear look is inspired by the Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo show. I struggled to find green bikini bottoms that perfectly match her look from the show, but I eventually found a pair from the base game that worked well enough. I kept the same bikini top from the Island Living expansion pack, but in green this time to match her outfit from the show. For her third swimwear look, which is inspired by both the Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo show and Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated, I decided to combine elements from both. I gave her purple bikini bottoms from the base game and paired them with a purple halter bikini top, also from the base game. Finally, for her What's New Scooby-Doo swimwear, I went with a purple bikini top from the base game and added a blue and pink floral wrap skirt from the Island Living expansion pack. <laughs> For Daphne's hot weather outfits, I started with her look from Scooby-Doo and the Alien Invaders. I dressed her in a purple tank top from the base game and paired it with pink shorts from an exchange in pack whose logo I don't recognize. For her socks, I went with white ones from the Get Famous expansion pack, and for her shoes, I gave her hiking boots from the Dream Home Decorator game pack. While she wears purple sneakers in the movie, I thought these boots worked well for a more adventurous look. Let's move on to her cold weather outfits. Her first cold weather look, inspired by Scooby-Doo Where Are You, features a purple beanie and sweater dress coat from the Seasons Expansion Pack. I paired it with pink sparkly tights from the Spooky Stuff Pack and booties from the Cats and Dogs Expansion Pack. Her second cold weather look, inspired by the Scooby-Doo show, uses the same season's dress, but I swapped out the tights for ones from the Get to Work expansion pack. I changed her boots to purple ones with fur trim from the Snowy Escape expansion pack and added green gloves from the Equal Lifestyle expansion pack. I also switched the purple beanie for a green one from the season's expansion pack to complete the look. Her third cold weather outfit look is from What's New Scooby-Doo and features a navy pullover from the Seasons Expansion Pack paired with purple leggings from Discovery University and purple boots from Snowy Escape. I kept the purple gloves from the Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack but wasn't able to find a hat that matched her fur headband from the show. Finally, for her Scooby-Doo and Guess Who and Chill Out Scooby-Doo look, I gave her a pink beanie from the Seasons Expansion Pack, pink fur trim boots, 
from Snowy Escape and a purple sweater dress from the Seasons Expansion Pack. I paired this with dark purple tights from the base game to tie the look together. Let me know in the comments who your favorite Scooby-Doo character is, and if there's anyone else you'd like to see me create in The Sims 4, drop your suggestions below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I love hearing your thoughts in the comments, so thanks for sharing your ideas and feedback. If you're new or haven't subscribed yet, I hope you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my future content. We are halfway there to 500. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.